wake up and smell the flowers. Hey guys, it's Daisy. Long time no see. I don't know how to like do those fancy arm things. I don't know. Okay, well, long time no see you guys. I haven't posted a video in actually so long. It's been like three months or something. But now that I am back, I've sort of thought of um, maybe an idea of what I think I'm gonna do, um, like posting videos wise, like what I want to do and what my schedule is going to be hopefully. I'm going to try to get a video up every weekend so that can give me time to think of an idea Monday through Thursday. So I'm going to be trying to get my videos up on any time on Fridays, Saturdays, or Sundays. I'm just really excited to be back and to be showing you guys another video so I thought to come back into you know the flow of things I didn't post a school video like a back to school video at all I didn't really do anything like that so I thought why not do a school video so I'm gonna be talking to you guys mainly about um, studying today but a few things about note taking as well um, that I personally love to do and these might help you and they might not they might not work for you at all but for me I know these things work really really well so um, if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see a lot more videos like this or just my beautiful face then you can go ahead and subscribe over there, down there, over there, up there, wherever it is and whatever device you're watching this on. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and subscribe because that would make my day. That would be so awesome. And yeah, so let's get on with the video. So my very first tip for studying is definitely finding somewhere comfortable to study because if you're really comfortable where you're studying, you're going to want to stay there longer, which will indicate you staying and studying longer. So my next tip is for people who find themselves a lot of times not being motivated to study or do reading. So for this tip, all you're going to need to do is put little candies or some type of reward at the end of each paragraph you have to read or question and then once you finish reading it, you get to reward yourself with that candy or whatever the reward happens to be. Something that really helps me when I'm studying is asking somebody else to help me study. So I created kind of a little sketch for you guys to sort of explain how it might go down if you ask maybe a parent, a sister, a sibling, whoever to help you study. Liquids are a substance with what? A definite volume and an indefinite form. Correct. This is also one of my favorite ways to learn something is to teach it to someone else. Now, I want to be a teacher when I'm older, so this one I know helps me a lot, but it's just sort of like teaching someone else. You don't really need a whiteboard for this, but it sort of enhances the idea for me, and it'll help you understand the subject more yourself. Rewriting your notes is a really good way to learn what you're writing and because when you're just writing notes in class a lot of times you're writing trying to write them really fast so you don't really know what you're writing but when you rewrite all your notes again whether it be on cue cards or just on another piece of paper it can really help you retain the information more if you just take time to understand what you're writing. So this tip also has to do with writing your notes and if you write your notes while you're in class as if you're writing them for someone else so if someone else needs to be copying these notes I find that really helps me to keep my notes really organized and sometimes even color coded and just looking really nice because if you think that it's for someone else to write down or for someone else to copy um, then it should help you write a lot neater and a lot cleaner. I use this hack slash tip, whatever you want to call it, all the time. It's pretty much just using a white noise app or machine of like ocean sounds or beach sounds to sort of give an ambiance or even block out the other noises around you so you can really focus on what you're studying. You can also use music, but for me, whenever I'm reading or writing, when I try to use music, it really sort of catches me off guard, and especially when you're trying to memorize something, the lyrics of the song can sometimes entangle with the things you're trying to memorize. Wasn't that a fun video? It was super fun for me to make, so I hope it was fun for you guys to watch. 
and um and yeah so if you guys have any other video requests that you want me to do make sure to comment those down below because it makes it even easier to for me to get up videos if I have ideas that I know you guys want and also again like I mentioned in the intro make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and also click over there or down there or over there or wherever the thing is, and I might even put a little annotation, the little subscribe button, um, if you want to subscribe to me, my beautiful face, and all my videos. So thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, bye.